Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with me, Longclaw Valerian Steel and hello to the brand new GTA Tudors DLC update which came out this morning. There is a lot to unpack, let me tell you. We have an awesome new community area to hang out in called the Los Santos Kami and some brand new contacts for you to interact with as well. Brand new business opportunity property, your very own mod shop which you can purchase and make money from, that's right. And there are new jobs, car boosting heist type things called contracts as well as all new boosting opportunities from Simeon which you can run from this business. You've got a new set of business partners and a new 10 car garage with 10 new vehicles that were dropped into the game today. So let's start at the beginning. Head over to your brand new LS marker on your map. It's in Cypress Flats, we know that, right? And on your map, you'll get your first look at the new car hangout. This really is a dream DLC for the GTA car community and as someone who owns almost 350 vehicles in the game, I count myself among them and I am very excited about what I've seen so far. This update has been put together to support the existing player base who love their vehicles and crave for more customization options and upgrades. If you love your cars and you love making money and you're desperate for something to spend your money on, then this is definitely for you. When it comes to the location of properties, it's really about your own personal preference. There's not much money to be saved in the cheaper options, so really it comes down to location. Choose somewhere that makes sense for you, somewhere close to your other businesses and the things that you're still doing in GTA Online. Basically, wherever you find yourself spending the most time in the game. I was tempted to go with La Mesa, as I have some warehouses down there and it's close to the ocean for my submarine. But in the end, I went with Burton, as I just love this area and it's close to my apartments and my office and my nightclub, etc. Now, there are tons of upgrades and it's again up to you and your own bank balance how much of this you shell out on initially. I went very top end and I think I bought every renovation and it cost me nearly 4 million. As I say, it's really up to you and how you feel about what you want your new mod shop to look like. You can also pay for your membership fee for the LSCM, the car meet at the same time and that will give you access to take part in the new races and stuff. And once you're all paid up, you head over to your new business and meet with your new business partners, Moody Man and Sasanta. You get a little bit of time to explore and this is where you'll be able to set up your headquarters for your car boosting enterprise. You're able to live here as well and store new vehicles as well as run jobs for these two characters and as well for Simeon right from this business. But before you can start purchasing cars and running jobs however, you're going to need to complete a little setup mission. Your new mechanic, Sasanta, has had her wheels stolen and you're going to have to show your metal and prove your worth as a new business partner by getting this back for her. And once you've done that, you can start to interact with the business. So let's pause for a second and just consider how lucky we are to have all of this new content in the game. I mean, GTA has always been an awesome game, but now it's got even better. And I don't care what anybody says, this is an improvement to the game and it is improving the quality of life while you're in GTA Online. So to start off your business, head over to your job board and interact with the, the job that your business partners have left for you and get to work on bringing back her precious vehicle. Now, when this mission started, I wasn't 100% sure exactly how to access the building where the car is being held, but just head over to the Davis police station. And as you get a bit closer to the location, the car will appear on the map. It takes a little minute to find. It's very close to the impound place where I'm sure you've been to to pick up your vehicles many times like I have. And you will need to go around the right hand side of the police station. And behind it is access to an 
underground entrance and that's where the car is being held and chaperoned by a fleet of armed noose officers and police officers too but nothing you can't handle right so to recover the car drive down into the tunnel don't worry about anybody parked outside if you take the same access point as i did you'll be able to avoid dying before you even get inside and once you're there you can shoot out the guards and the noose officers there aren't that many from within your driving seat and then you can access the car and once you're in the car it's just fast and furious right you just need to drive back to your mod shop and do it without getting killed don't worry about the state of the vehicle because after all you now have the business to repair it so this is a very cool little look at one of the new vehicles in the game and i'm really excited about all of the cars that have been added today i will confess i've actually purchased all 10 of them already and i'll be bringing that to you in a video which will come just after this and i've also started modifying one of them as well and i'll be bringing all of the modifications in separate videos on my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're watching this on tiktok instead of youtube don't forget to follow me when you find yourself back at your headquarters, the mission will be complete and then you're free to start interacting with your business and that's where you can start to get your hands involved in what's going on. You can start buying vehicles and they'll appear in your new 10 car garage. You can interact with your living area and change your outfits and you can even start running your new jobs. The job board will appear with three different missions on it and they're all like high, mini heist type missions and I'm very excited. I've already done one of these and completed it and i'll be bringing that to you in a video very soon so just sit back and enjoy the new dlc update which we're very lucky to have upon us and i'll be back in another video very soon